Hey folks, let's talk about schedule. First, please visit that URL, that's gxy.io slash gat, which will bring you to this page. And the most important part of this GitHub repository for you is the readme, which is on the same page. Uh, even though this course is offered asynchronously, uh, we made a timetable for you. The timetable is completely voluntary, but in our opinion, it will make the most sense to follow it. This whole document is very short and very important, so please go through it. Uh, it reiterates all the important links you need to know. It explains why the timetable looks like it does. Uh, we approximate that it's about five hours of work every day if you follow the timetable as it's laid out. And it starts on Monday with um, working with Ansible. And as you can see, these are the topics for Monday. Um, the video column mostly consists of uh, links to YouTube where we um, recorded lectures for you that refer to the materials in the slide slash material column. Uh, the YouTube lectures are strictly supplementary. You don't need to go through them. The core materials are always self-sufficient. Um, so take it, take advantage of it if you want, but you don't have to. And then if you have any questions or if you want to talk to us uh, about any of these topics or any other topics, please join the reference like channels. Uh, there are many of you and we want to keep uh, things streamlined. So please respect um, the channel that you're using in terms of where to ask questions for what topic. Thank you. Good luck. Hello, everybody. My name's Simon Gladman, and I'm one of the instructors at the Galaxy Admin course this, this week. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to the Slack that we've set up for the week and uh, just get, give a bit of an explanation on how we'd like you to use it. So the first thing when you sign into the Slack, which is at um, Galaxy Admin Training, which is Galaxy Admin Training, all one word, dot slack dot com. If you, um, if you point your Slack app or your um, your web application for Slack at that, you'll be able to, to see it. Um, hopefully you've received an invite to the Slack channel or to the Slack group. Okay, um, we have a number of channels set up. Um, there's one for each section of the course, uh, obviously starting with a 01 Ansible, which will be on Monday. And then as we go through each section, each section is numbered here. Um, you can see 01 Ansible, Ansible Galaxy, Ephemeris, Singularity, CVMFS, BioBlend, Compute Cluster, Pulsar, Storage, Monitoring. And this one here is Choose Your Own Adventure, which is on the Friday or the last day of the course. Um, there's also a general channel here and then a random channel. Um, general channel is for um, uh, in introductions. So if you uh, would like to introduce yourself here, that would be fine. As you can see, uh, we have some people who have done that already. Um, yeah, so feel free to uh, introduce yourself here. Um, there's some important information here that you could please read. Um, there's a code of conduct that which we'd like everyone to um, abide by. You've all um, signed this before we started the training, and this is really important because we want to make this to be a very welcoming and friendly environment for everybody. So please be respectful when you're using this Slack channel. We also have uh, an FAQ in Google and their schedule is, is available at gxy.io slash GAT for Galaxy Admin Training. Um, the schedule talks a little bit about the schedule and there's no shit except for the next Friday because there is no set schedule. Instead, there's a choose your own adventure day where we've listed a uh, uh, a list of tutorials and you're free to choose whichever ones you think are interesting for you. Okay, uh, if you have any trouble during any of the tutorials, um, say you're doing the Ansible Galaxy tutorial and you have you are having trouble, please go here into Ansible Galaxy and type um, what your problem is here. We will have people um, all at all times, well, most of the time, monitoring these channels around about the time that these um, these tutorials will be running. 
So, so we'll be doing these ones on Monday and these ones on Tuesday, etc. And so uh, we will have people monitoring them and who should be able to um, help you. Um, if we have, if you're having a lot of trouble, uh, we can direct message you and um, and uh, even start a, a, a short um, audio or video hookup and uh, help you out. So yes, there's a channel for each of the uh, different tutorials that we're going to be tackling. Um, there's a general one for introductions and general chat, saying hello to people, etc. And then a random one. Um, and in random, uh, we'll just put um, you know things that aren't related to the course. But obviously, please keep it suitable for work um, and abide by the code of conduct. Yeah, so off topic messages can go in random. Uh, if you need to direct message any of the um, coordinators, for example, if um, you've been contacted, if you have a problem and you say you've put it in the in the ephemeris channel and somebody replies to you, then you can uh, probably direct message them as well if you don't want to have it in the general channel chat. Okay, so that's about it for the Slack. Hope you understand how to use it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to write the coordinators an email um reply to the email address and we will help you connect if you haven't been able to do so otherwise enjoy and thank you all the videos for this course are available on youtube you will find the link in the schedule so there are a couple things that are nice about youtube so obviously you can play the video here um, if you look below the video, you can find more information, including um, the links to the slides and the training manual that you see in the video. There are also, uh, for the longer videos, uh, there are sections and you can jump directly to sh certain sections um, of the video. Um, there are also subtitles for all the videos. To enable these, you can go to the gear icon at the top right, uh, bottom right of the video here. Um, and you select subtitles and choose English, but not the auto-generated ones. And then you see there are some subtitles um, that appear on your video. Another thing you can do is you can um, control the speed of the video. So if you would like to play it a little bit faster, a little bit slower, so you can keep up, you can do that uh, as well with the gear icon and choose playback speed. And then say, if you want it faster, you go to the ones uh, a little bit higher if you want to play a little bit slower you can choose uh, one of the slower ones and all these videos will remain online uh, even after the course you can always come back to them again later if you want to, to repeat anything so have fun let's talk a little bit about the galaxy training materials so all of the materials that you will cover this week are hosted on the Galaxy Training Material website. This is the place in the Galaxy community for all of the different training materials on all sorts of different topics, not just administration, but also bioinformatics and chemi-informatics. All of these different topics are hosted here. Whenever you or maybe some of your users need to learn about these different topics, they can go to the Galaxy Training Network to find well-tested, well-maintained tutorials. Um, so we cover a lot of different topics for scientists, but also for developers and administrators. If you want to learn about climate change or genomic annotation, proteomics, sequence analysis, all of this is covered for all of your different use cases, hopefully. All of these have different tutorials with different resources, input data sets, all of their workflows, all of the content that you need to learn about how to use Galaxy for biological analysis. Alternatively, if you want to learn just how to use Galaxy, there is a whole section on user interface which will cover all the different new features like the rule-based uploader, how to use that to get large data sets into Galaxy, how to extract workflows from your histories, any of these different topics that you might need to know. Hopefully they're covered under, under the Galaxy Training Network. And if they're not, let us know. But for our week, we'll be covering the documentation hosted under the Galaxy Server Administration folder. All this documentation is what you need to become a Galaxy Administrator. So. You can browse to this website yourself, or you can just view the Galaxy training or the gxy.io slash GAT, the, uh, the schedule. The schedule links directly to all of the different tutorials and all of the different slides. Um, so we have slides and hands-on for most topics. 
you can read about, okay, let's, if you want to learn about Ansible, you can view the slides by clicking on that button and then scrolling through. For some of our slide decks, we have automatically produced videos from those. So we've taken the slide decks and the speaker notes that we have for what we should be saying about each slide, and we've produced automatic videos for those. All of the videos that you'll be viewing this week, all of them are on YouTube. So you don't need to worry about this for now, but for the future, all of these video icons here are automatically updated whenever we update the materials. And lastly, and most importantly, is the hands-on. So this little computer icon has all of the content you need for a given tutorial. It starts with an overview, there's an agenda, so you can see what we're going to discuss, and then it gets into things. Notably, you'll see boxes like these, hands-on. These are where you get to do stuff, where you should be running some command, you should be taking some action, etc. If English is not your first language and you would prefer the materials in another language, you can use this little drop-down box here to see them translated into another language. This just uses Google Translate, so if you're familiar with another language, if you're familiar with Google Translate, you should not have too high expectations for the translation, but sometimes it can make the material easier to understand if you're not a native speaker. For biological topics especially, your users may want to chat with the community. They may not know how to do specific tasks and they may have questions on specific portions. And when students have questions, we have this open chat box which embeds chat with the Galaxy community into the training materials. And anyone who's going through them can just click on that to talk to us. For the administration course this week, of course, we'll be using Slack. And that's it. All of these materials will be available online forever. If you have any questions, just let us know. Hi, everyone. I'm Nicola Soranzo. I work at the Elam Institute in Norwich, United Kingdom. Uh, I've been working on Galaxy since uh, 2012 and I've mainly developed tools, work on the backend of Galaxy. I also admin a Galaxy instance at our institute and I provide training there and around the world. So welcome all of you to the uh, Galaxy admin training course uh, for 2021. And today I'm going to uh, tell you how to connect to your virtual machines. So uh, as you probably have read on the website, uh, there is going to be a virtual machine for each of you and you can connect to that for the whole week and the week after that. And we are going to provide this uh, for you for free and thanks also to our sponsors. So to connect to your virtual machine, you first need to go to uh, the uh, github.com slash galaxy project slash admin dash training. Uh, GitHub website. If you scroll down the page, there's uh, some uh, explanation of the logistics, also about the virtual machine here. And you click a bit, uh, you go down a little bit more on their important links. There is a link to uh, gxy.io slash get machines. Click there. It will open a uh, Google spreadsheet. And here there's going to be the list of the uh, virtual machines and you will find one virtual machine has been assigned to you. So in this column, your name will appear. For now, there are just some that are used by uh, our fellow trainers. What you have to do to connect to your VM is go to a terminal and then you should have installed SSH or an equivalent program for Windows. And then you need the username to connect. And this is going to be probably Ubuntu for all of them, but it's always listed in the first column, the user column. You can copy and paste in the terminal. Then you need an at. We'll use uh, and the second machine. Okay, so I'm doing an SSH Ubuntu at the host name. So the host name is the D column here. So you have to find the line where is your name, 
and you take the host name and you paste it here. And then for only the first time that you connect to this uh, uh, virtual machine, it will ask to confirm the authenticity of the host since it's the first time you connect to it. And you just type yes, the whole thing, not just Y. And then you have to paste the password. So you go back to the spreadsheet, copy the password and paste it in the terminal, enter and you're in. So that's simply how you can connect to your virtual machine. And now if I go back for a second to the spreadsheet, you will notice that there are uh, two tabs, the one that we are looking at called VMs, but there is a second one called Pulsar. And there is other virtual machines here. And again, you will have one associated uh, with your name, but that's something that you're going to use later on in the course when there's a lesson about Pulsar. Uh, but the, the way you connect to these different virtual machines is the same. So just remember that when you will have to uh, do your Pulsar lesson, the, the VMs are in the same in the same spreadsheet, just a different tab. Okay, that's all for me and enjoy the course. Uh, we are going to be around to help you as much as we can. Hi, I'm Catherine from Galaxy Australia telling you a little about Biobu. The virtual machines we'll be using this week are configured with Biobu, which is an open source window manager and terminal multiplexer. This improves terminal sessions when users connect to remote servers. And this setup will make it easier for helpers to assist since if an admin trainer logs into the same machine, they will see exactly what you see. There are some things that are a little different from using a regular terminal, such as scrolling. So if I open a long text file, I can scroll through this file by pressing the F7 key to go into scroll mode. And you see the little line counter appear in the corner. And then I can scroll through the file using arrow keys or by using Alt arrow key or function Alt arrow key on a Mac to go through one page at a time. And then I can exit scroll mode by pressing the enter key. And this is all written down. We have a Biobu help page that describes the scrolling and also some more Biobu key bindings. And there is a difference between what works on a Mac keyboard and a PC keyboard. Use the Slack channel and ask helpers for any help with this. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Galaxy Admin Training. My name is Helena Rasha. I work in the Netherlands as a teacher in higher education at a Vans Hoog School in Breda and I'm working on my PhD at Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam. My background is as a system administrator and officially as a bioinformatician. I used to do genomics research with viral genomes and then I moved into system administration for Galaxy. I used to be the usegalaxy.eu administrator. This is going to be hopefully an exciting week. I'm one of the organizers of this course and I hope everything goes smoothly for everyone. Hi folks, I'm Martin Czech from Czechia. I've been working on Galaxy for about seven years now, previously developing the core code base uh, with the team at Penn State and currently guiding Galaxy efforts at Elixir Czech Republic. I hope you enjoy our training and I wish you good luck. Uh, I am Sergey, Sergey Goldicinski. I'm a software engineer at Johns Hopkins University. Uh, I am a, one of the core developers on the Galaxy team, and I'm going to be one of your helpers this week. Hi, everybody. My name's Simon Glabin, and I'm from the University of Melbourne in Australia, and I'm one of the administrators on Galaxy Australia, and I have been working on with Galaxy since about 2012, and I will be also helping you this week. 
Welcome to Galaxy Admin Training. My name is Catherine and I work as a software developer at the University of Melbourne. I'm one of the administrators of Galaxy Australia. Hi everyone, my name is Saskia Hiltemann. I work at the Erasmus Medical Centre in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. I work a lot with Galaxy, mainly developing tools and pipelines and a lot of training as well. But I also run a small Galaxy server for our researchers and clinicians to analyze their data. And this is often data that cannot leave our institute, so they can't use one of the public Galaxy servers. And this week I will be helping out with the admin training. Hello, I'm Anthony Bretodeau from Rennes, France. I'm working for INRAE, the French Agronomy Institute. I'm the sysadmin of uh, galaxy.genos.org and uh, usegalaxy.fr. I contribute to Galaxy and to GTN or IUC. And I'm also part of the Galaxy Genome Annotation Project. Hello, my name is Aaron Pitkow and I work with the National Microbiology Lab, uh, part of the Public Health Agency of Canada here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And I'm also a graduate student at the University of Manitoba uh, here in Winnipeg. And my background is in bioinformatics and computer science. Hi, my name is Derek Benson. I work for the Australian Science Agency, the CSIRO. My work life has been mostly about systems administration of computer systems. In the recent past, I spent about seven years working with the Genomics Virtual Lab team and the Australian Galaxy team here in Australia. But in the last 18 months, I've been working for the CSIRO where I'm their Galaxy Systems Administrator and they're pretty much all things Galaxy person. Hi, everybody. I'm Esther Nancelé. I work at INRAE, which is the French National Research Institute on Agriculture, Food and Environment. I'm the administrator of a small galaxy instance, which serves models on agroecosystems, which is a bit out of the initial scope of galaxy. I'll be happy to help you if I can. So see you and enjoy the training. Hi everyone. So I'm Gilles Corguier. Uh, I'm from the Station Logique de Roscoff uh, in France. Um, I'm administrator of uh, the French National HPC Infrastructure on, of uh, usegalaxy.fr and I might uh, help you uh, about uh, Galaxy itself, uh, Ansible, Singularity, maybe APA, and uh, about the cluster stuff. Hello Galaxians, I'm Kiran Telikuntam and I'm part of TMS Foundation and also BioClus organization. Both the organizations are trying to spread the awareness of Galaxy in India and also trying to bring up the Use Galaxy cluster in India. I finished my PhD in Pharmaceutical Bioinformatics and I'll be great to help you all in coming week in the Galaxy Admin Training. Thank you. Hi, I'm Pietro, PhD student at the University of Milan in Molecular and Cellular Biology and one of the developer of Lanyakea a software solution to provide Galaxy uh, on-demand instances over cloud infrastructure. I will help you from uh, Milan, Italy. Hi everyone, I'm Gio Mauro. I'm from Freiburg. I work at the University of Freiburg and I'm the current administrator of uh, Use Galaxy U. And uh, this week I will help you during the, the training, that being training. 